Bristol Brand used to court the paparazzi, but yesterday it was a tension he tried to avoid. Arriving 45 minutes late for his sold out 2,000 person gig in London, defiantly facing the public for the first time since allegations of rape and sexual assault were revealed by Channel 4 dispatches, the Sunday Times and the Times yesterday. Inside, he apologised for being unable to speak on the topic to an audience who cheered him along. Around the time his performance ended, the 90-minute documentary began, where four women accused the star of sexual assault and, in one case, rape. He's grabbing at my, my underwear, pulling it to the side. I'm telling him to get off me, and he won't get off, like holding me up against the wall pushing himself in me. Today, the Met Police said they're in touch with the Sunday Times and will contact Channel 4 to ensure that any victims of crime who they've spoken with are aware of how they may report any criminal allegations to police. Russell Brand had already denied the claims the night before they were broadcast, taking to his YouTube channel where he's cultivated a following of over 6 million people for his thoughts on conspiracy theories, Big Pharma and against what he calls the mainstream media. Amidst this litany of astonishing, rather baroque attacks are some very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. Sowing seeds of doubt to an audience already warmed to the idea that he's being silenced. Is there another agenda at play? particularly when we've seen coordinated media attacks before. The dispatches also heard from previous colleagues who said some of the programmes he worked on facilitated his predatory behaviour. The government responded to the allegations this morning. I think collectively have missed opportunities to do the right thing and intervene much, much earlier. And we've got to, we've got to be better at this. Do you think there are questions for the industry? Sadly, I think there are. Why, hello there! Today, the company that took over Endemol, the production house that made one of those shows, launched an urgent internal investigation and promised full cooperation. And Channel 4 said it was determined to understand the nature of the claims. The BBC, where Mr Brand also featured, said they are urgently looking into the issues raised. The fallout for the comedian-turned-wellness guru has already begun. This morning, the Trevi Women and Children's Charity announced it had cut ties with Russell Brand a move that could further convince his supporters that all of this is just to silence him. Well, earlier I spoke to the Shadow Minister for Domestic Violence and Safeguarding, Jess Phillips, and began by asking her for her reaction to the Russell Brand allegations, which he has strongly denied. It didn't really surprise me. Uh, it's not rumours that I hadn't already heard previously, but... Um, even somebody as hardened as me, I deal with rape cases, abuse cases. I found watching the, the dispatches, I found it really harrowing. And yet it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, it's very difficult to gauge the barometer of social media, but you see people split in a very brittle way between those who believe the women and those who mm -hmm. say, oh, why have they come forward now? Why didn't they go to the police? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's, I, I suppose, the, the most worrying implication for the women is that now these women, rather than Russell Brand himself and the production companies um, where he was working throughout that period, are going to feel like they have questions that they have to answer. They're going to feel like they have to prove themselves. And uh, we see it in police forces. We've seen how that's uh, something that we've been trying to work to change for so many years. But those women in, in this case are going to feel like they now have to justify their actions. The idea that it's plain sailing and it's easy for people to come forward, that it doesn't make it completely, you know, your whole life is taken over. It can take years and years for you to get charges, years to get to trial if you get that far. You're asking somebody traumatised who feels like they have very little power to basically act as if they have all the power in the world. And what do you make of the fact that despite these allegations, uh, in some instances in the crowd, perhaps because of them, he played to a packed house last night? Well, I mean, it doesn't surprise me that men fail up, uh, specifically in that industry. You know, it just makes it look like society accepts that women have to tolerate a certain amount of abuse. The, there isn't zero tolerance. When we say that there is zero tolerance 
for abuse and violence against women. We we don't mean zero. We mean we expect it to take a little bit. Uh, and, you know, he, he's a funny bloke, or I agree with his political views on this. Um, and so it, it, none of it surprises me, I'm afraid to say. I mean, you rightly say that it once again focuses... A, a, a harsh spotlight on the industry itself. I mean, we look back at what happened with Jimmy Savile and the fact that the industry is supposed to have learnt lessons. But these allegations, they're much more recent. The, the claim so familiar of blind eyes being turned and inability or unwillingness to tackle behaviour of the so-called talent. Well, it, it's undoubtedly the case, whether it's talent, whether it's people who have power because of their uh, political friendships that they might have, if, if you think about Westminster, there is still uh, industries, we've seen it in finance, we've seen it across the board, where people have power, they will use it to gain sexual gratification. Men at work don't grope people who can sack them. What do you think, what do you hope happens now? I really hope that the women don't feel under pressure to do anything that they don't want to do. But that what I would like to see, uh, certainly in the UK, is a world where they felt as if there was an opportunity for them to go forward to law enforcement. But at the moment, I wouldn't blame them if they didn't. Jess Phillips, thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you. And if you've been affected by any of the issues raised in that report, go to channel4.com slash support for a range of places to seek help and advice.